Hi, Reflex Flow Training here, Seafood Bob. Today I want to talk a little bit about soft targets. And uh, what's, what brings this up is I just did a, a video on, uh, on a ways to aggressively uh, counterattack a person when they make a violent assault on you. And uh, one of the points that was made is that even though these techniques were very quick and effective, they did take some sort of athleticism, and all self-defense does. There's, there's just no question about it. You can't be able to not, not be able to move or, or walk or do anything and defend yourself other than with maybe a gun. And even then you have to train how to be able to draw it and shoot it and aim it and, you know, and, know, and know how to, to be safe with it. So uh, weapons are enhancers are a great thing as far as, you know, as far as uh, equaling things out when somebody's bigger and stronger than you. But here are a few little, little things that you want to think about. You want to hit soft targets. So that means like the eyes, throat, groin, you know, temple, the ear, the base of the skull, this jaw point right here. So, you know, so if somebody's coming at you like that, right? You might, may want to move this way a little bit and come walk here, tuck your chin in and go right in up underneath and hit them in the throat. They're probably not going to kill them. Hit them in the throat, but it is going to really hurt man and you're going to catch them here like that and slap their ear just aim anywhere on this right in the middle of their the side of their face you're either going to catch their ear you know their temple you know or their jawline so and all of those are going to have really good effects remember hit here and then turn your heel out you know turn your body and your heel and slap so it's really hard you can use an open hand with fingers open or a cup i kind of like the cup you know, one thing about the cup is he moves back, I might actually be able to get his eye. Another thing you can do is, is somebody somebody reaches for you or they start to punch toward you, or they come with the right hand like that, and duck to the side here, and you see, and I bring my fingers this way, and you see how my hand kind of curves, and I go straight towards his eye. Now, what I'm aiming for right here, actually, is right here, right underneath on his cheekbone, so I slide up into it, and with those curved fingers, I can pop that eye. Now, I may not hit it. That's why I want my hand bent slightly so it palm strikes him otherwise, right? Boom! Palm strike him right in there. Like that. And then again, I can do that slapping type motion. I can come, remember? I can, I can come up here, chop under his right hand comes up. I can go to this side and chop up into his throat, hit him on the jaw side, or hit him with a hammer fist on the, on the jaw side, and then slap. Another thing I can do is, see what I did, or here, boom. And this, this is, I'm going to hit him straight here in the chest, right at the top. And boom, turn in. Boom, with my fingers. That's going to make him choke really good. He's going to go like this, and I guarantee, I guarantee. And then when he goes, goes back, let's see what's going on. I can come straight in towards his eyes and slap, slap on both sides of his head. Maybe a groin shot at that point with my knee. Okay, another thing you can do, right? You come straight in this way, like that, and then pow, right? Both palms right in. These pads of your thumbs, right on the cheekbones, and flick, flick his eyes, gra grab him. Now watch my head. Don't do this, you'll break your head. Boom! You can headbutt him, right? And elbow him. That's something you can do. Boom. Like that. And rip across his eyes or hammer fist or slap this way. Inside your hand. Bam, bam. And get that sort of power. Okay. Another thing, if you get the opportunity, right? Let's say he comes in, right? You, you open your hand and you hit him and you grab him, right? And you knee him and it brings him forward. Take your hand here and hit him. On the base of the skull right on the base of the skull downward like that's also good if they try to go in and try to grab your legs right and you have to move both feet back at the same time push down bam hit him in the back of the head okay so that's a good target you can also hit this way like someone steps over right you cover up right and cover up bam so right he's coming at me i'm gonna step over bam and this forearm is going to hit him in the base of the skull. Now, I'm going to grab his chin, the back of his head, and it's a ripping motion. Boom! 
boom, right? Rip, boom, and hip. So grab his chin, back, twist, twist, right? Twist and hit. Like hammer fist or palm or hammer fist back here, or punch or better even yet, a slap. A few different ways to use easy targets or soft targets. Temple, ears, draw line here, throat, groin, base of the skull. You know, there are places underneath the arms and armpits and things like that, inside the legs and stuff, you know, the, the knee, if you're athletic enough, you can step to the side and kick that knee out to the side. But those things, you know, you're, they're a little more risky and you really have to work on them a lot longer. So try to keep it as, as simple as possible. You know, be aggressive, you know, use a little bit of movement, practice a little bit of movement and ducking and dodging, right? Go towards the eyes, right? Like that, slap him in the face, grab his head, huh, rip, elbow, hit, right, palm, right? I palm right here, boom, into his throat. Go towards his eyes here, that brings his head back. That can go into his throat. That can go that can go to his ear. This hand can, can now I can whip around and hit him in the groin. Right? Cover up, throw a knee, palm in the eyes, grab, headbutt him. All these things are good. And even to the point where somebody grabs your hands, like you know, they're, they're quick and they grab your hands like that. Bam! Or bite their arm or bite their neck remember if you're defending your life whatever works it's not just a quick thing you want to actually you just like you're eating a piece a piece of tough meat right you just, and rip into it go for his throat if you can anywhere you can bite onto like that if somebody grabs your wrist you can hit the hand you can hit the hand here and go towards his eyes and slap him here like that he grabs this hand, let's say, like this, with his, uh, his his left here, like that. One good thing to do is you move into him and turn your hand and hit his arm. That will make, gives you a chance of being free, so you can hit with his hand. And if it doesn't, it at least moves his hand over the side, so you can take your fingers and put them right into his eyes. So what I'm telling you, be vicious. Do what you have to do. Remember, remember also. You know, you can, right, you can, you can be sitting here like this. You can have a, a, a pen or a knife and, and a person can grab onto you here, grab your shirt like that. You grab, you grab here and go like this, hit him in the chest, go, go to his throat, right? Pull him, pull his arm down, hit him, grab, grab, grab down, boom, and use a weapon. That would be like the Medusa system. But, you know, remember, this is your life, a life and death situation, right? So whatever you need to do to survive. Go out there and uh, be safe. Avoid the problems if you can. And defend, and defend yourself the best you can.